Hello everybody and welcome back to Forest River. As you can see here, we are sitting at the, count at the corn field and uh, <clears throat> we are going to get started <clears throat> and uh, start cutting our corn. boy yeah this is gonna be some high yielding corn <laughs> which of course is a good problem to have as you can see we got uh, corn trash falling behind us so that's uh, perfect because we'll be able to come back and uh, get that raked up later on But, uh, yeah, we're almost half full already. Goodness. <clears throat> and, uh, there. <laughs> half full. We haven't even gone all the way down one side of the field yet. We are definitely going to need, uh, the grain beggar. <clears throat> we'll probably pick that up here probably soon. We definitely aren't going to wait uh, too terribly long for it. Oh boy, we're 80% full already. <clears throat> Let's go grab a truck. Nitrogen, bad. <laughs> That's nice. I need a lot of fertilizer again in the spring. Let's take a look here at uh, what our yield map says. Boy. And only a little bit of that was actual dark green. Which is... 125%. Wow. Otherwise it's 100%. Oh boy, are we gonna have corn. <laughs> this is gonna take a while to get this corn knocked out. So there will definitely be a lot of uh, off-camera combining. Just to kind of try and speed things up a little bit for us. there but we'll get them at some point when we're coming back just filling goodness <clears throat> well, that's definitely going to be a good problem to have I'm alright with that Kicking out some good straw, so. Which 
Should be able to get uh, a few bales off of it anyways. And I don't even think we're going to make it all the way back to our truck. I was just going to go to this end and turn around, but uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Goodness. <laughs> this is crazy. We're almost going to be full before we even get to the end. Wow. A lot of dark green right in there. So, yeah, that's... We're definitely going to need a grain bag. Because, <laughs> uh... Wow. We're going to have all three trucks full before we even finish headlands at this rate. Which, like I said, that's... That is a perfectly good problem to have. I am A-OK -okay with that. <clears throat> Be a whole lot of running back and forth to uh, trucks. That is for sure. That is going to fill this truck. So then we're going to turn around and go back. So we need a truck at this corner. And then that other one should be able to stay right there. I'll just back this guy on up. It's a good thing that we don't have a bigger header on this combine because uh, we would not be moving very far. Not at this rate. Holy. Uh, right about there should be good with that truck, because this one's going to be full now. Yep, sure is. All right, well, let's get uh, flipped around then. Corn is yielding so high and taking so much engine load that we can only cut at two miles an hour. Holy smokes. This is going to be uh, a time-consuming harvest. <clears throat> That's for sure. So I'm thinking next year we're going to run some uh, sunflowers in the mix, maybe. Um... So we'll probably put that on our corn ground. So we'll see. We might look into a uh, new tillage tool this fall. Or for next spring, I should say. Um, after we sell our crops. Because um, <clears throat> we're going to want to work up all of this corn stubble and all the corn stalks, stuff like that. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're going to be raking a bunch of the trash, but there's still going to be a bunch more. We're never going to get it all, so um, we'll probably want to work up some of this ground. Oh, boy. Are we going to make it to the truck? Um, before we go to plant on it, the corn is tall. Our auger is hitting the tassels. Wow. Barely make it to the truck. Sheesh. That's insane. Okay, let's pick up these couple of uh, missed stocks here. 
and then uh, we'll get unloaded. Now we're going to cut a path down this field, I think. Actually, we probably better not, because we're probably going to fill before we can even make it to the end at this rate. Yeah, this is, uh, insane. I kind of figured our corn would have a good yield, but this is, uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is nuts. Granted, it also doesn't help either that uh, our combine really doesn't have the highest of capacity. So that really doesn't help our case any here. We can cut over one more row. And we're just gonna straighten this edge out. So we'll just cut straight down, straight on through. Oh yeah, 140, 103, wow. It's taking some engine power to cut this stuff, that's for sure. Now if we were uh, trying to make silage for cows, we would be able to chop this field and be good for like two years. <laughs> Crazy. Well, all that... Uh, extra money on fertilizer this spring was definitely uh, worth it. Corn loved it. And it's most certainly uh, paying off. Let's uh, cut this corner out a bit here. Try and open this end of the field just a little bit. Before we uh, run out of room in the combine.
Alright, let's go dump this. And we'll make another pass down. We're going to end up having to uh, run back to the farm at some point with our pickup and get uh, our oil loaded up because this thing is going to need, uh, it's going to hit that five hour service mark before uh, we're even close to done. I did not fill fuel yet, so we will have to uh, do that. So whenever we need fuel, we'll probably uh, just get that service done right away. Okay, let's see here. I think we're going to do another pass over here. And then uh, see if we can't kind of cut our way along that edge there. Yeah, definitely good, uh, Good corn. It's ridiculous corn, actually. Boy, and I don't even know. Well, we can cut this way because that's along that edge there, so we'll be okay to uh, go along it. At least we won't be trapped in the middle of the field or anything like that so and just piles of chaff so we're gonna probably get a good amount of bales off of this stuff too which is gonna be great we'll have a lot of corn that we can sell and hopefully make a good amount of bales between our soybean stubble or our soybean windrows, I should say, and then uh, all of this corn trash. Yeah, we're not making it all the way to that end. <laughs> no way. Boy, if we were putting this corn down in a windrow, I can only imagine the size of the windrow that would be coming out of the back of this combine. Now, you can... Uh, Put it in a windrow um, and for those that are wondering uh, this is because of uh, Thunder FS Modding's script uh, I think it's the advanced add-on uh, is what adds the crop moisture and then the ability to create straw from basically all crops um, now, like if I hit the button, you can see here, st uh, straw swath is enabled. So that's the actual straw swath. And then this is just basically your chopped straw. Yep, and we're full. Um, so... Normally, I mean, there's guys around here in my area that do make cornstalk bales, and you don't put it in a windrow with the combine. Uh, all you do is you come back with a rake, and you rake up all of the corn trash, and then uh, come back and bale it. So, like, all of your leaves and stuff like that. 
um, any cobs, things like that, whatever the combine and the header spit out. So that's not a spot to unload combine. Come on now. Um, cause I mean, all that anybody around here uses it for is just for, uh, bedding. So basically whatever's there you can get and I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. The cows might find some cobs with corn left on them that they'll munch on, but, uh, for the most part, they just kind of lay in it and call it good, so. So yeah, next year we'll probably put the sunflowers on the corn ground. We'll throw corn in on the beans, on the bean stubble there, and then uh, hopefully we'll have money after selling this winter, or, well, yeah, over the winter, that uh, we can um, uh, buy some more land, and then we'll probably put either some wheat or some beans in, something like that. Alright, let's go over here and let's finish this outside round. Pick up those couple that we missed there. Oh yeah, from seven mile an hour to one. Oh boy. Holy smokes, look at that pile. Goodness. Yeah, we're we're uh we're gonna have fun bailing this. <laughs> I can tell that already. That this is gonna be a nightmare to bail. We are gonna be stopping so often. Yeah, just that little bit that was left there. We're a quarter full. Oh, and we're starting to ding for uh, needing some fuel. But uh, we'll be fine for now. We'll probably uh, fuel up in the next episode before we get back to cutting. We've got one full truck already, one that's mostly full, and one that's getting there. Oh my goodness, this is, this is just insane. Just crazy. This stuff's probably running to the real-life equivalent of 200-plus bushel corn. Yeah, we're not even going to be close to making it back. Well, we'll cut until <laughs> it fills up and then drive over to the truck. This is where having a hired guy would really be beneficial to us. Because uh, we could have a grain cart following us around. 
and then we wouldn't have to uh, drive the combine all over Tarnation, but for now, this is how it is, and I guess it's just uh, what we got to make do with for now. I think we can get maybe, well, one full dump on both of these trucks yet. And then a partial. Oof, this is, this is going to take a while, especially when we get down to that big field down there. Oh, boy. That's, uh, that's going to take some time. Okay, well, let's uh, finish our pass here. Make our way back to the truck. As soon as we're on our uh, straight rows, then I can do some more in-cab cutting, but for now, just kind of uh, how, it, how it's going to go. So then I think uh, what we're going to do is we'll cut over to the truck and then because we're right here we're gonna unload so that way we're empty going down and then uh, we'll start going back and forth Yeah, I mean, we're almost half full already, so we might as well just uh, dump it here. Whoa, getting too far. Yeah, so we'll go back down to that end. That truck will be almost full. We'll come down here fill this truck oh boy and we're hitting our half hour so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut and get both of these trucks filled up the rest of the way and then uh, probably cut a little more just to kind of try and get through some of this because otherwise this is uh, really going to take us a while so that's going to be all for today folks thank y'all for tuning in and uh, we'll catch y'all in the next one